Because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him. And he delivered and made it a three-score game. And the Titans are going to recover the football. Now, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On second and 10, Tannehill. It's caught at the 10. And they move this all the way down to the 9. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Tannehill. That's complete once again to Hopkins. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. At the three-yard line. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Ryan Tannehill. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Titans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. It's a wobbler, and it's intercepted. Takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the sit. Tyler Boyd, he's going to go. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Boyd with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter. A Burrow and the Bengals offense staying put. They'll go for two here. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out lock, lock. that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. In motion is Westbrook Aquina. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first and 10, Tannehill. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Here's second and 10. Here's Tannehill. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Nick westbrook Akine. From 17 yards out. And the Titans are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. 
Tannehill going to throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. I have to admit, I love the excitement of a two-point try. You know, to see what's going to happen. And, and it happens pretty quickly, doesn't it? You get an answer. And in this case, it was unsuccessful for the guys trying it. Completely unrelated. I just realized that I stole both your pins in this last half of the game. <laughs> My bad, partner. Hey, that's okay. Well, they, and, and just in the time they went for two. At their own eight yard line. Here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And Charles, the name of the game last time, efficiency. Their very first snap, they connected for a quick touchdown. They get more value than just the points from that series as well. Only needing one play, it keeps the entire offense rested up. Now a second and 10. Now Burrow. He will find his man Chase complete. Here we go, here we go. So how about this for a change in field position 11, from inside 11, the 10. 11, here's first 11, down 15, on the great. other side of the field. Now it looks like he'll throw here, sliding out of the pocket. And this one is incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards. Mixon hit, and all oh, the ball is out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. Well, I'm guessing that on the sidelines, there might be a few words said about that mistake there, but I don't think it's going to hurt them in the long run. They're still going to get out of here with a win. Yeah, they got the, the two-score cushion, but you know what coaches say, Charles? Finish strong. Finish the game out the way it's supposed to be played. In fact, coaches might be secretly happy because of a chance to do a little extra coaching <laughs> next week. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught at the 20. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. Throwing Tannehill. And it's a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans take the force fumble and convert it into six points. So a big two-point conversion attempt forthcoming for the Titans. Here's Tannehill. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion no good. Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Now it's Burrow. This goes out wide for Nixon. Only able to gain a couple there. And now it's third and three. And the offense moving quickly to the line. 11, 11, 11. 12, 12, 12. 11, 11, 11. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And this one drops in the end zone. Oh, it looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. 
Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Just over 30 <laughs> seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Tannehill to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Just a difficult situation to be in here in the final minute. Down two scores. You know you need some providence from somewhere. They're going to keep firing away till the end, but this one falls incomplete. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Tannehill. Now he's into the clear again. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Tannehill. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Now Folk for the extra point. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them uh, to do that? I was going to ask you, what maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. The Bengals drive about to get going. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach. That is intercepted. Picked up by Christian Fulton. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. So here's Nick Folk in an important spot. With one second to go, this to send us to overtime. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights, and this game is tied. So it's the Titans who will control the football first here in overtime as we're back underway. This taken in at the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. Their one, two, three is that they didn't punch it in for six points. But let's have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They keep it with Henry on first down. Down the sideline he goes. Inside the 20. And into the end zone. 